Hey guys, I decided to play Granger because he just got a little bit buff in the latest update. But then something extraordinary happened. I finally got a really good tank player as a teammate and having a great tank will make the life of the DPS so much easier. I wasn't really sure if I should wait for Franco to engage first or he's waiting for my signal. But since he didn't move at all, I decided to take the initiative. Although Leila is quite inexperienced, I could tell for sure that this Franco is a pretty decent player. His movements are pretty smart, especially for a tank and you will be able to see that throughout this gameplay. Instead of coming out of the bush, he's staying there to provide vision. This is an extremely rare occasion that I miss such a good tank in solo queue. Absolutely amazing. He probably saw that their tank and jungler are in the middle lane, so he probably knew I will be just fine soloing Layla which is 100% correct. You can see that I'm about to be level 4. This is a fight that I could never lose. Now that Franco is done helping mid and saw that their tank came to the top lane, he decided to provide me assistance again. Not sure if this is a good or bad thing that Moonton finally decided to give me a decent tank for once. But not gonna lie, taking it easy once in a while is not too bad. Look at that, he's providing vision where it's needed. I was about to shed some tears seeing such a splendid tank in solo rank. I'm just wondering if he's an active viewer, that's why his game sense is pretty high. Winky face. Usually I don't like sharing the spotlight like this, but this is an exception. He totally deserves it. Since not much is happening in the top lane, he even went to invade their buff. This is the kind of aggressiveness I like to see on tank players. Let's make this quick. Remember, having a good carry is nice. But having a great tank in your sight is the best thing you can ask for. I guess Akai was typing, 
because most likely they were having an internal bickering. I could have flickered in and killed Layla, but I didn't know where Esmeralda was, so I didn't want to take that risk. I have only seen this Franco miss once. Absolutely naughty. I guess he felt that this game was too easy and wanted to make it a bit more interesting. Just like what I do sometimes. Quite understandable. Oh look, the favorite last bullet trick. Instead of going for the kill, I decided to take down the turret first. Remember, Almost always prioritize the objectives first. Oh look, the last bullet trick again. I was just trying my hardest to keep using the last bullet trick because many people were complaining that I didn't use it often in my latest Granger video. XD Although we have such a huge advantage, I still gotta pay a lot of attention to my positioning and not get caught off guard because of my cockiness. I'm trying guys, but nobody wants to receive my last pew. The enemies are distracting the top lane. This is the perfect opportunity to push the other lanes. Oh, 
Remember to not get completely clustered when Franco hooks. The enemy will certainly defend their allies, so make sure you are dealing damage from a safe distance. Instead of trying to end the game by trying to catch them off guard, it's a much safer and better choice just to take the Lord and push with it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want your tanks to be like this as well, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so more inexperienced tanks get recommended these kind of videos. Thanks.